Now we have seen the operators and we have seen the variables. Let's talk about Java constants. Now, in some cases, a piece of data will not be changed in the program. So we will have the same value for that piece of data throughout the program. And this is what we call a constant. So for example, if I'm talking about an exam or a test and my maximum score of that test is going to be 100, so I can save this as a constant and this is something that's never going to change. Now, for example, what is the number of hours per day? It's 24 hours. Again, I can save this as a constant and this is never going to change. Now, using constants will make the program more readable to others because you will, they will know that this is something that you're not going to change throughout the life of the program and this is a constant so it's going to provide easier readability for the application uh, using the constants also will make your program faster because these will be cached by the JVM and the app will be faster because this is going to improve the performance now how to declare a constant it's going to be the exact same way in which we declare variable but we will use a new keyword that's called final uh, a standard java convention is to name the constants in uppercase letters so you don't um, mix them up with variables it's just a convention like the convention of starting a class name with an uppercase letter as well so for example if i'm defining a constant for the number of hours then what I can do is I can just uh, make sure that it's final to signal that it's, it's a constant, provide its data type, and then finally uh, give it a name and a value using the equal sign right here. Now trying to change the value of a constant later on in the program will result in a compiler error because you should not try to change any constant in your application so if you want to guarantee that this number is not going to change create it as a constant any attempt to change that will result in a compiler error now let's talk about java expression so far we have seen the variable names only on the left of the assignment i mean we have seen some little bit of them being on the right now we can have them on the right of the assignment as well so the right side of the assignment can be a variable or a constant. For example, if we want to declare this, the circle's area is pi times r square. Now we haven't talked about r yet, I mean square yet, so we can do this in Java for now. Uh, we can define a double that's called the circle area and this is going to contain by times r times r so pi is going to remain as it is because I'm, I'm uh, multiplying it by r but then if we talk about this part this is the same as r square now if this is my constant I can just do it like this all uppercase and this is going to be a better way to write my constant now we will see later on that this is this already exists in the math class and it's a constant and it's called pi so how to access it is using math.py but I'm uh, not expecting you to be using this right now I mean if you want to use it then you are very welcome to do so um, now this is going to work given that bo these both are already declared and initialized so if you declare them and try to multiply them, they don't have any value, you will get an error as well. Now let's talk about more operators, so more ways to use the operators. Now we have seen the plus operator. We have seen the equal operator. Now you can use them in different ways in Java. So for example, if you see plus equal, that means this statement. So for example, if we see if we see a plus equal to that means a is equal to a plus two similarly if, if, we, if I say X uh, plus equal one this means X is equals X plus one and so on now this notation is going to work with the plus with the minus with the uh, multiplication and with division as well 
Now, uh, these last two are very useful because we will see later on when we talk about iteration that uh, this is an easy way to increase our counter. So if I say A++, every time I say A++, it's going to increase the value of A by 1. So A++ means A is equal to A plus 1. Now we will talk about this in more details later on about the plus plus being before or after but the general idea is uh, you can have plus plus a and you can have a plus plus and the difference between them is for this if I try to print it is going to increment first and then process or in this case print in this case it's going to print first and then increment so this is going to affect your output so I highly recommend that you try to play with them and see what sort of output you get now um, a pretty important one is the string class why am I saying it's important? Because to write any word or any sentence, to save them and sort in a, any sort of a variable, you will need to save them as strings. Now, uh, how do we store a word or a sentence in Java? We said using a string. Now, string is a class. Now, if I ask you, is string a primitive data type? The answer is no. String either is a class and we start it with an uppercase S. So whenever you want to define any string in Java, if you type it like this, string, um, let's say S is equal to some, some sort of string, this is going to be a compile time error because this S has to be an uppercase. So you have to write it as this string S is equal to something right here and then this is how you can define it for example I can define this string as hello world my name is let's say John Doe and um, you can add strings so for example I can use this first string use the second string and add them now I have a plus here and this is a third string if you think about it then in here what I'm doing is I'm actually adding uh, three string so this is three strings that I'm adding because I have one two and three now anything that's in double quotes is a string regardless of what's inside so for example I can have double quotes with nothing inside this and we call this the empty string and um, what is the difference if I ask you what is the difference between this um, let's say a and a so the first one is a character and we know this by the single quotes and this is a string and we know this by the double quotes so you can add two strings, three strings, four strings, as many strings as you want. Now in this situation, the plus operator is going to be what we call the concatenation operator. And we will see later on that we can change this or we can get rid of this and use what we call concat method but for right now this is a faster way this is an easier way to combine strings now some notes all strings must be enclosed between double quotes and again the string the double uh, plus operator can be used with strings and is called the string concatenation we can use the concat method to do that now uh, let's do some 
examples I will provide a file on canvas that's called string methods.java that will have more string methods but let's go and um, do some examples on strings in the same file that we have right here so for example let me define a string let me call it s1 that is equal to uh, hello and let me have a space here or let me just have this and string uh, s2 is equal to um, something like um, Java is fun and let's do this hello there Java is fun now I can do this I can print s1 and this is going to print hello there I can uh, print s2 and it's going to say Java is fun but if I do this s1 plus s2 um, let me just make sure that this is lowercase now it's, it should print hello there Java is fun so let's try to compile and I forgot a semicolon so let me save it so it's not a bad thing if you uh, have errors as long as you can fix them uh, by human nature we make mistakes what's the problem here hello there hello there why am I getting this didn't I want it want to print both we have to pay attention that I actually wrote s1 twice so it doesn't care if you repeat it multiple times you have to specifically say which one do you want to print and there are many um, Java methods that we can cover in class for example um, s1 dot to upper case what do you think this is gonna do so let's check this and then everything in up is in uppercase so we have two uppercase two lowercase and we have more string methods that we will be covering in the file that I will provide on canvas